Grandpa's Aquarium, Grandpa's Aquarium. He's fed. I just want to know that you actually know how to feed him. Of course we do, but you have that special touch. Grandpa's depressed. We need your skills. You have the skills to feed a fish. No, your special tongue skills. I told you I don't do that anymore. Please. Kate, okay, he won't talk to us. I just want some normalcy, guys. That's what excites me now. We only ask you for help when it's really important. Okay, you need to go. I need to go get my laptop fixed. Did you dump an entire bottle of Limon Pepino Gatorade on it too? Just say cucumber lime. She just allowed the bottle to keep flowing while screaming, No Limon! Uh, close, I guess. I was drunk Skype breaking up with my boyfriend and I stepped on it and the screen cracked. No Limon! Hey, I've been waiting in the car for like 35 minutes. Can I stay? Can I go? Um, they were just leaving. <sighs> Say goodbye to Auntie Kate. Wait, stop. Kate, we told you we don't want to hear about your sexual activity. But are we going? Maybe we're staying, I don't know. It's Grandpa, he's speaking to me. Fine, I'll give you a session. <gasps> I don't tell people this anymore, but I'm a pet medium. I'm a fish whisperer. Like Aquaman. My mom hired a medium when we found out our house was a former cult headquarters. She ran away with them. Stupid medium Patrice. <laughs> Sorry, TMI. It's okay, we're here to share. Okay, okay, you two. What's Grandpa saying? I'm sensing he's a real Kerouac type. You know, loves vacations. I've always said Grandpa was a beat poet and a drunk. You've never said that, but he does look pretty wasted. Sloppy little guy. He says, when can I get back on that highway, Chief? And the highway, it suits me. Are you quoting True Detective season two? Quite possibly. Any type of Colin Farrell orgy and I'm all in. He would drive a sports car, a convertible, if only he could drive. This is the source of his depression. Grandpa sounds like a deadbeat dad. Reminds me of my great uncle. Didn't have legs due to his time spent in Nam, but he, he loved cars. His caretakers took him for daily five hour drives. That was before we knew how bad gasoline was for the ozone layer. Well, my reading's complete. Do you ever talk to Cynthia? Cynthia's a rude bitch. A rude, rude bitch. She's my bitch, and I'm hers.